Okay. So, last class we derived that uh, junction effect if I consider that vocal tract uh, is nothing but a junction of several tube and if the cross sectional area across the tube is different what should be the junction effect we have discussed. Now, if I we, we said that if the each tube has a fixed length del x then this tau the delay line tau can be represented by z to the power minus 1 because z to the power minus if the t 1 is equal to tau. Okay. So, this is the single junction k junction signal flow diagram. Now, if I consider the same if the tube has n number of sections. So, suppose I have a tube length is L and I cut this tube in n number of section. So, the length of the each section x is equal length L by n. So, tau is nothing but a tau is nothing but a x by c. So, it is nothing but a tau is nothing but a x is nothing but a L by n c. So, if I, I have a tube of 17.5 second 5 uh, let us say 5 centimeter tube long and if I uh, divided the tube in n equal to 10 junction then the tau is nothing but a 17.5 centimeter divided by n into c, c is the speed of the sound that much of delay is required. Okay. Now, I come if my tube is n number of tube is there. So, there will be a n minus 1 are the junction 1 to n minus 1 number of junction. So, I can draw the equation like this way let us this is u g n then the first junction second junction dot 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 n at n minus 1 junction and this is the and if you see the last one is the boundary condition at lips and this one is the boundary condition at grottest. So, it is R g it is half of 1 plus R g it is minus R l 1 plus R l I can draw the n tube equivalent signal diagram signal flow diagram and each delay is represented by z to the power minus 1. Okay. Now, if this is my tube let us u g n is nothing but a delta signal delta n okay, delta n delta signal or delta n. If it is delta signal then output if this is the my signal flow diagram then output I should get V a t at the output is nothing but a V 0 delta t minus n tau plus k equal to 1 to infinity B k delta t minus n tau minus 2 k 2 tau why? So, if you see if I have a tube with n number of junction of length let us n uh, the n, n, n section of junction. So, each section create a delay tau. So, n section create a delay n tau, but that is the first first signal first delta that is why b 0 into delta n, but after all the signal the after the uh, for, for first round the, the, the delay will be there. So, what is the delay 2 tau is the round tip delay. So, this is the first arrival of the signal second will be arrival due, due to the back propagation. So, there will be a 2 tau delay. Okay. So, earliest arrival is n tau which is n number of tube each section delayed by tau next signal will come by 2 tau delay. So, I can say next signal will be integer multiple of 2 tau delay. So, that is why I said 2 k sorry k 2 tau k into 2 tau k is the integer and 2 tau is the delay. Okay. Now, if I consider to avoiding the aliasing of digitization process if I consider my sampling period t is equal to 2 tau. So, my sampling period t is equal to 2 tau, what I am saying suppose I want to create a band limited signal or less pitch signal whose maximum frequency is 500 hertz, 5, 5 kilohertz or 5 kilohertz, let us 5 kilohertz is the maximum bandwidth. What is the sampling frequency? 10 kilohertz. 
10 kilohertz is the sampling frequency. So, band limited is 5 kilohertz, Nyquist criteria is 10 kilohertz. Okay. So, if I, if I want to reach the Nyquist criteria in this 2 tau delay, so 2 tau must be equal to the sample period. Okay. So, 2 tau is equal to sample period. If 2 tau is equal to sample period, then how do I derive this V z? If, if I consider this is a z domain, V z which is nothing but a u l z divided by u g z. Okay. And each z to the power minus 1, now z to the power minus 1 is single sample delay. Now, my sample delay is t equal to 2 tau. So, I can say instead of z to the power minus, it will be minus 1 into z to the power minus half. So, all the z value will be replaced by z to the power minus half, z to the power minus half, z to the power minus half, z to the power minus half. So, I get this signal flow diagram. Once I get this signal flow diagram, can I derive the vz? transfer function of the tube which is nothing but a output which is u z u l z divided by u g z z domain. Okay. So, u g z I know it is nothing but a impulse or godal, godal response. Now, what is u l z? So, I have to derive this transfer function. So, how do we derive it? Using a signal flow diagram I can derive it. So, let us there is a procedure to for der derived it. So, let us use some procedure or use a some simplest uh, this may be the simplest form procedure for deriving the transfer function of V z which is nothing but U L z divided by U g z. How do we derive it? If I consider each one of the junction is acts as a lattice. If you see the symmetrical this is R 1, this is R 2, this is R n minus 1, but all are symmetrical. Okay. Now, let us I draw in here because uh, for understanding if I draw it here it will be very clear to you. Now, let us this is nothing but a my u g n okay. coming to the first junction let us first junction is here which is nothing but a I will first draw the junction and then I write down the signal flow. So, this is this way, this is this way, this is this way and this is uh, this way. So, this I will write in red pen. So, this is nothing but a 1 minus R 1, this is nothing but a 1 plus R 1, this is R 1, this is minus R 1. Okay. Now, I have a U G, so I have a U G is here, U G n is coming to here and then there is a terminal at glottis which is nothing but a so, there will be z to the power ok. Uh, so, let us there will be z to the power minus 1 delay, z to the power minus half, here will be delay z to the power minus half and this will be R g and this will be 1 plus R g divided by 2 ok and then the same junction I can continue there will be a delay z to the power minus half there will be a delay z to the power minus half and again there will be a junction so junction let's signal flow diagram this is this this is this this is this again this will be 1 minus R 2, this will be 1 plus R 2, this is R 2, this is minus R 2. Okay. Then I can say there will be again delay, again delay z to the power minus half, z to the power minus half. Okay. Again there will be a junction, let us this is nth junction, n minus 1 junction, there will be a junction, this is the let us n minus 1 junction. So, there will be a lot of junction in here. So, this if it is n minus 1 junction, this is 1 plus r n minus 1, this is 1 minus r n minus 1, this is r n minus 1, this is r n. Okay. And at the end leap, there will be a boundary condition. So, there will be a z to the power minus 1, then I put the boundary condition which is like this. 
z to the power minus half z to the power minus half and this is nothing but a minus R L this is 1 plus R L I get U L N. Okay, this is the output. So, I have to find out u if it is z domain then u z u l z divided by u g z that I have to find out. So, how do I find out? Let us calculate, let us calculate stage by stage. So, if I say any u, so I you know that u k plus 1 plus z is nothing but a 1 plus r k that we have already derived. 1 plus r k z to the power minus half u k z u k plus z plus 1 z plus r k into u k plus 1 minus z that we have derived last day u k plus 1 z the volume velocity which is injected in the k plus 1 tube is nothing but this one. Okay. From here I can find out what is u k plus z is nothing but in term of k plus 1 tube. So, it is nothing but a so z to the power minus half if I say it will come z to the power plus half divided by 1 plus r k into u k plus 1 plus z minus this will become this side. So, minus r k z to the power half divided by 1 plus r k u k plus 1 minus z. Okay. So, this is you can say u k plus z u k plus z at kth tube u k plus z is nothing but this one. Okay. So, similarly, I can find out what is u k minus z. Okay. So, what is u k minus z? already we have done u k minus z is nothing but a minus r k into u k minus r k into u k plus z into z to the power minus half plus 1 minus r k u k plus 1 minus z. This we have already done already derived. Okay. So, from here I can say u k minus z is nothing but a minus r k z to the power minus half divided by 1 plus r k u k plus 1 plus z z plus z to the power minus half 1 plus r k u k plus 1 minus z. Okay. I can do that k plus 1. So, I this I, I represent u k plus z u k minus z in term of u k plus 1 z u k uh, uh, u k plus u k plus 1 plus z uh, u k plus 1 minus z. Okay. Now, once I do that then if you see here this is my u k plus equation and this is my u k minus equation. Once I do that now if you see that if I say matrix this this, this is all as u k 1. So, u 1 u 1 plus u 1 minus the u 1 minus z u 1 plus u 1 minus z you can see that blue and yellow. So, those are the equation. Now, if I say let us u k is nothing but a consist of 2 plus u k plus z and u k minus z whole u k is nothing but a forward wave and backward wave and from here I can write u k is nothing but a r k into u k plus 1. If I write that if you see this is the two equation u k minus and u k plus u k. So, if it is u k plus 1 is nothing but a u k plus 1 plus z and u k plus 1 minus z. Okay. So, this has to be multiplied by this matrix equation. What is the matrix? z to the power half divided by 1 plus r k minus 
R k into z to the power minus half uh, by z to the power half divided by 1 plus R k and another one is minus minus R k z to the power minus half divided by 1 plus R k and z to the power minus half divided by 1 plus R k. So, those coefficient I write in matrix form. If I write this matrix form, okay, then I can say I simplify this matrix z to the power minus half 1 plus R k I can the, the write down here. So, it is 1 minus R k divided by this one uh, 1 minus R k uh, 1 minus R k minus R k z to the power minus 1 z to the power minus 1. Now, if I see this matrix in R k cap and this whole matrix Q k is equal to R k. So, I can write R k is nothing but a z to the power minus half. So, Q k is equal to R k I can write. Okay. So, R k is nothing but a this one. Okay. Now, if it is that U k equal to U k equal to R k plus into U k plus 1. So, if I say k varies from 1 to n, let us 0 to uh, 1 to n. 1 to n if I k varies, varies with the 1 to n, then what will happen? Then u 1 I can say is nothing but a r 1 r 2 r 3 dot 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 r n into u n minus 1, sorry u, u n plus 1. I can write k varies from 1 to n, let us if it is k varies from 1 to n, u 1 is nothing but a r 1, r 2, r 3 dot 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 r n into u n plus 1. Okay. Now, if you see that this diagram, there is a n, f, n minus 1 symmetry junction. So, this is 1, 2 and this is n minus 1. Here, the junction is not symmetry. In, in RL cases, only problem is that there is a no backward wave in here. Let us I put a backward wave with 0. So, there will be a I can put a backward wave here which is nothing but a 0. So, it is 1 minus R n this is 1 plus R n 1 plus R l let us R l is equal to R n. So, it is 1 plus R n and this is minus R n if this is plus R n this is minus R n I can write. I can write. So, see this here in the slides. If you see, I added this block. So, now there is a n number of block instead of n minus 1 block, I can get n number of block with input here backward wave is 0. So, I can write u n plus 1 u n plus 1 is equal to nothing but a u l z and 0 because here u l z is only 0 is added with u l z. So, u l z plus and minus wave. So, I can write it is nothing but a 1 0 u l z okay. and u 1 equal to r 1 r 2 r 3 dot 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 r n u n minus 1. So, it is nothing but a r 1 r 2 r 3 is dot 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 r n into 1 0 u l z. Okay. Now, u 1 I get. Now, I have to find out what is the relation between u g z and u 1 z. So, I have to consider the boundary condition at the glottist. So, what is u g z relation between the u g z and u 1 z? u g z so, u 1 plus z is equal to 0 0.5 1 plus r g 1 plus r g u g z plus r g u g u 1 minus z I can write. So, I can say u g z is equal to 2 by 1 plus r g. So, 0 0.5 means or you can write 0 0.5 by 1 plus r g. Uh, so, uh, two, this is 2 two by 1 plus r g because this is half only. 
okay. 2 by 1 plus R g u 1 plus z minus 2 R g by 1 plus R g u 1 minus z. So, I can say it is nothing but a 2 coefficient 2 by 1 plus R g 1 and another is 2 R g divided by 1 plus R g into u 1 z. Okay. So, u g z is nothing but a 2 by 1 plus R g it is constant it is nothing but a 1 this is minus I think this is minus minus. So, it is minus R g into u 1 z. So, I can write u 1 is equal to r 1, r 2, r 3, r 4, r n into 1 0 u l z. So, I can write u g z is equal to r 1, r 2, r 3 sorry u g z equal to 2 by 1 plus r g 1 minus r g. So, instead of u 1 z I can write r 1, r 2, r 3 dot 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 r n 1 0 u l z. Now, I get u g z divided by u l z is equal to 2 by 1 plus r g 1 minus r g r 1 r 2 r 3 dot 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 r n into 1 0 I can say that. So, which is nothing but a 1 by v z. 1 by the transfer function. So, v z I want to find out v z which v z is equal to u l z divided by u g z. So, it is nothing but a 1 by v z. So, 1 by v z I can write in term of 2 by 1 plus r g 1 minus r g r 1 r 2 r 3 r n 1 0. Okay. Now, if I write that then if I put the value of r 1 and r 2 the equation will becomes 2 by 1 plus r g 1 minus r g z to the power n by 2. So, if you see the r k is z to the power half. So, I can say if it is n, so it is z to the power n by 2 k equal to 1 to n 1 by 1 plus r k. r 1 z to the power minus half for r 2 z to the power minus uh, z to the power half for r 3 z to so if it is r n product of z to the power half z to the power half z to the power half. So, n number of so it is nothing but a z to the power n by 2 k equal to 1 to n 1 plus 1 plus r k k equal to 1 to n cap r k cap. So, r k is like the matrix is this and 1 0. So, now if I say my n is equal to 2 then I can find out the impulse risk or transfer function of the tube model. So, if I simplify this thing for 2 tube, if I consider that my length of the tube the whole vocal cord is vocal track is simulated using 2 tube. So, if it is 2 tube, so n is equal to 2. If I put n equal to 2, then 1 by v z will become 2 by 1 plus r g will be same, this will be 1 minus r g will be there. So, there is no effect on here. Now, is z to the power n by 2 n equal to 2. So, 2 by 2. Okay. Then product of k equal to 1 to n k equal to 1 to n means n equal to 2. So, k instead of k equal to 1 to n I can write 1 by 1 plus r 1 into 1 by 1 plus r 2. Okay. Then I can write k equal to 2 in this equation. So, k equal to 2 k equal to 1 1 minus r 1 1. So, I can write 1 minus r 1 another 1 is minus r 1 z to the power minus 1 z to the power minus 1 into 1 minus r 2 minus r 2 z to the power minus 1 z to the power minus 1 then 1 0. If I evaluate it, it will come. So, z to the power half z. So, z 2 z 
divided by 1 plus R g into 1 minus R g. This will be 1 by 1 plus R 1 into 1 plus R 2. Then I can matrix multiply this in this one. So, this one is 1 plus R 1 R 2 z to the power minus 1, 1 minus R 1 z to the power minus 1 minus R 2 z to the power minus 2. If I evaluate, so this matrix will be 1 0 I can say uh, first evaluate this 2 then come to the here this side. Okay. So, if I write down the equation then whole equation 1 by V z is nothing but a I can multiply this thing 1 plus R, R 1 1 plus R 2 and this thing I can multiply together and I can find out. So, V z 1 by V z and then V z will becomes if I derive these things and then the V z will become V z will be 0 0.5 1 plus R g into 1 plus R 1 into 1 plus R 2 z to the power minus 1 divided by 1 plus R 1 R 2 plus R 1 R g z to the power minus 1 plus R 2 R g z to the power minus 2. This will be the 2, two tube vocal track model. If you see this transfer function, I have a 0 at origin z to the power minus 1, but I have a 2 pole, this is second order equation. So, I have a second to second order, we can say 2 pole or it is a second order equation. So, I have a single 0 for 2 tube model, I have a 0 at center 1 0 and 2 pole. So, at origin 1 0 and 2 pole. So, if I have a n tube model, I can say n by 2 0 at origin and nth this, this equation become n order. So, I can say there will be n number of pole this equation become nth order. So, I can say this whole v z can be said this is all 0 are in center and this is all pole model. So, I can write v z is nothing but a g by v z, where v z is nothing but a pole model. So, if it is if it is nth, nth order, so it is nothing but a 1 plus k equal to 1 to n alpha k z to the power minus k. So, kth pole will the nth pole will be the n number of pole will be there. So, I can write down the equation 1, <coughs> one plus k equal to 1 to n alpha k z to the power minus k and n by 2 0 at origin. So, instead of writing this uh, 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 the all 0 model I z to the power minus 1 minus half in here z to the power minus half in here I can write this d z in a signal flow diagram as a all pole model and z equal to this v z z to the power minus so all pole model then it will be z to the power minus n by 2. So, I can write down the signal flow diagram in all pole model. So, I can say mathematically it is proved that a vocal track transfer function can be simplified as a all pole digital filter. All pole digital filter I can simplify it. So, if I able to simplify all pole digital filter and if I know alpha k, if I know alpha k which is nothing but in term of r 1, r 2 and uh, uh, the r 1, r 2, r g I have to know. So, what is r 1, r 2? All are reflection coefficient. If I know all reflection coefficient, I can simulate this dz. So, it is impossible to implement this dz using digital filter. Okay. So, now I can say dz, dz is nothing but a there is an error in the slides, please correct it. dz is nothing but a 1 plus k equal to 1 to n alpha k z to the power minus k. So, let us R g is equal to 1 that means, 
Thus, the let's there is a no glottal impedance R g R g is equal to 1. Okay, thank you.